What you're looking at here is obviously blood under a microscope, and this is a uh, clinical microscopy that's being done on 12 different subjects on a 90-day study. And the blood at the baseline was 88% oxygen, and that's the first part of the video there. And you'll see that there's all kinds of clumping where these, the red blood cells are all stuck together and it's, they're, they're in a low oxygen environment and, and a dehydrated environment. And the after, you'll see there that when you increase the oxygen by 5%, in that short of a period of time, virtually all of the cells have broken apart and are independent and are now really healthy with a lot of oxygen and there's a lot more fluid in the blood now and the person is uh, not, not as dehydrated as they were before. The hydration at the end of a 30 day study was a 28.5% increase in hydration over their baseline. And the average baseline is somewhere between 3 to 5%, so let's call it maybe 5%. You'd be up there at about 335 total hydration for this person. And that's the result. When, uh, when you can put that much water into somebody's system along with the oxygen, your blood really, really lights up and the cells become separate again. So at the end of seven days here, we were at 95% oxygen from 88. At the end of two weeks on this test, they went from 88 to 10.33%. And I haven't added up all the figures for the 30 days yet, but we've never seen anyone in any of our tests now. This is our third human clinical trial we've done. There isn't anybody that hasn't gotten up to 99%. So I would be very surprised if uh, you don't see that uh, pushing 11.5%, 12% within a very short period of time.